Hello everyone, this is S. Saravanak from Kanjipuram, Tamil Nadu and I am happy to share that I have cleared for the post of Scientific Technical Assistant A at National Informatics Centre and I recently joined the organization. For that, I would like to extend my thanks to Unified Study Channel, Priyanka Chatterjee Man for her excellent and wonderful content, especially in English language. So you might wonder what he is doing in this UGC education channel. Before telling that, I would like to brief you about what National Informatics Center is and what type of exam I had written unclear. So National Informatics Center is a government of India organization which comes under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So it is like a technology partner to the government of India which provides various infra infrastructure and communicational technology related solutions to various ministries, departments and across various state governments. At March 4, 2023, National Informatics Center released a notification for the total vacancy of around 598 for three different posts, Scientist B, Scientific Officer and Scientific Technical Assistant A. Here, Scientific Technical Assistant A and Scientific Officer are Group B post, whereas Scientist B is a Group A post. And Scientific Technical Assistant A is a non-gazetted, whereas Scientific Officer and Scientist B are gazetted posts. For Scientist B, they are released vacancy of around 71, for Scientific Officer, it's around 196, and for Scientific Technical Assistant A, it's 331. Uh, regarding the education qualification, one should possess a BE, BE, BTEC, or MCA, or MSc in either Electronics, or Computer Science, Information Technology, or, or relevant fields. When you look at the exam pattern, all these three posts will be consist of uh, consist of MCQ based for exam for 120 marks out of which uh, 42, uh, 42 questions are from aptitude and 78 questions are from the technical part uh, whereas uh, scientist technical assistant A requires only written exam to be qualified scientific officer and scientist B requires uh, both written test and interview the syllabus for this exam is uh, for the all the three posts, the scientist B, scientific officer and scientific technical assistant A, all the computer science subjects that you will be studying in this UGC examination will come except artificial intelligence and theory of computation. But in scientist B, apart from this computer science subject, you will find some easy subjects like electrical engineering, signals and system, analog and digital communication. And the difficulty of the exam will be the question based with uh, based on the question levels only uh, for scientist B it will be somewhat difficult and scientist scientific officer little bit easier compared to scientist B and scientific technical assistance here would be the easiest one among these three and this examination pattern would be very similar to the UGC exam, visual exam and all other things so I was uh, initially I was preparing uh, for this exam using gate, gate materials and I studied almost all the course subjects from the gate materials. But this uh, exam requires uh, additional subject apart from the gate like uh, software engineering, uh, web technologies, recent technologies, cyber, secu uh, cyber security and network security etc. So I was looking for the YouTube channel where they can provide software engineering uh, video content in a quality way, especially in the English content. At that time, I found Unified Study Channel, where uh, this channel had a playlist which contains a uh, software engineering playlist and it has uh, various software models. So initially, uh, in each playlist has a very short video of around five, 4 to 5 minutes for each model. So I doubted about the quality of that video and then I watched this video Then I able, and I can found that these videos are short, clips to the point and you can easily be able to understand. So I started slowly watching those all the videos covered in the software engineering. And then at uh, June 2023, ma'am uh, conducted a 45 days crash course on the Infi Study Channel that helped me to prepare for uh, prepare for all other subjects, all the core subjects and non-core non -core subjects of computer science. That helped me to brush up all my concepts at that point of time. And the examination was conducted on December 14th, 15th, and 16th, 2023. 
for scientific pre scientific officer and the scientific technical assistant here respectively so in this way uh, ugc syllabus is found is found close similar to the nic exam so you can say yeah, nic exam is just uh, paper 2 of the ugc net examination so if you are an aspirant who is preparing for ugc you have multiple career options uh, apart from ugc so any technical examination conducted by a various organization the difficulty level, the type of question they ask are all very similar to UGC. UGC is through if you take a question mapper and you will see uh, almost four questions will be repeated in uh, ISRO, UGC and all. And nail it, they are also uh, refers to their question mappers of ISRO and UGC. So the one who is preparing for UGC net, they can definitely look for the other technical exams conducted across various agencies as the examination pattern would be very similar and the difficulty with after this question will also match. So whenever uh, I watch, listen to any lectures, I take notes of all the points said by the map, especially the keywords for each and every topic. That, uh, that, will, be helpful, that will be helpful for me during my last minute revision and sometimes that keyword would help me in choosing the correct answer in the multiple choice question. So, I just cleared this exam and the, one of the reason is because of the Unified Study Channel. So, once again, I would like to thank Unified Study Channel, Priyanka Map, for giving the quality content, precise notes and especially the contents in the English language. And I wish all the aspirants who is preparing for UGC in a grand success. Thank you.